Hey, beautiful soul. <clears throat> hey, beautiful souls. Beautiful sunshine here with Dr. Holistic Killer, aka Sonya B. I am back with a few prophetic messages. Um, I just want to say that if you're new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. And for those of you who are returning back, I want to say welcome back. Keep in mind that these energies could be happening right now. Or it could be happening a few days from now. It could be happening a week now, two weeks now, three weeks from now, and a month from now. So keep that in mind. Just depends on your location on the planet, whether you're on the northern hemisphere, the southern hemisphere, all that plays a factor. East coast, west coast, all that other stuff. So anyway, with all that being said, for those of you who do not know, I'm a Reiki master teacher. I am a Reiki practitioner. I am also a clear... I'm sorry, I'm also a clairvoyant Hoyoka empath who receives divine prophetic messages. I also receive... Um, intuitive messages as well too i also receive intuitive uh messages through music as well too so for those of you who do not know i am here on this platform to be able to help you guys translate the messages from the spiritual world into this uh 3d physical world excuse me y'all and for those of you who do not know right now we are in mercury retrograde so therefore it's kind of messing with my communication a little bit so bear with me because you may hear me stumble just a little bit that has a lot to do with mercury retrograde but for those of you who do not know i am also dyslexic as well too but right about now that's not as not tying into the that is not tying into the dyslexic. It's tying into the Mercury retrograde. I know the difference usually between the two. Um, usually when I'm having a dyslexic moment, usually I'm having a crossfire of, of you know, um, uh, just misfires. <laughs> so with that being said, this is not this uh, situation. It is definitely Mercury retrograde and it tends to affect communication you know at least me i know myself so it tends to affect my communication sometimes where i'm just pausing and stumbling over words a little bit so anyway with all that being said let's get into the prophetic message so anyway um this this energy is very interesting that's coming through here and i say all that to say it, it's just it's very interesting so I, I had a dream and the first dream that i had was people were very eager it was just like on edge about something what it was i don't know god didn't give me the specifics he just basically showed me how people were just like on the edge or whatever you know for whatever it may be um so keep in mind to watch out for that you know um yeah to just be mindful of that so anyway um and then the second dream, this came in a form of, and this is what I said when the people seemed like they were very eager about stuff. You know, it, it, I just saw like a lot of energies being in some sort of like attitude, like, yeah, they were just, just like attitudes. That's what I'm noticing a common theme was in these dreams. Like the first message was people were very eager for whatever it was. I don't know. I don't know if it's to get their right, their right. See, like now, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I don't know if it's to get their life right is what I'm at least hearing spirit say anyway. So it's almost like trying to get in order is what I'm hearing. Thank you, spirit. So anyway, so the second dream came in a form of um, I dreamed that like I was asleep, right? But I felt like somebody punched me in my face while I was sleeping. I was I woke up. I was like, what? And and I was like, what? I mean, it's almost like I could really feel that blow. But, of course, in dream state, everything seems like it's actually real that it's happening at that particular time anyway. But it, anyway, so the punch woke me up to the point that I was like, damn, that felt real. But anyway, so, yeah, somebody had punched me in the face in the dream or punched me on the side. I mean, it was like on the side of my jaw or whatever in the in the dream. And I remember jumping out of my sleep, you know, just like, what? what? I mean, because I was like, I know nobody's not in my room. So, but anyway, so with that being said, um, some of you guys need to be aware of just the energies that's coming in. Be mindful of the people around you because I told you guys this October, it's, I remember hearing a boom sound. So like I told you guys before, I'm not sure if that's an actual bomb going off or if that's just an actual bomb that's going off in each individual person. Meaning like people like, you know how when something's being revealed to you, being shown to you, and then it's like all of a sudden it's like, damn, you know, what the fuck? You know, like, why didn't I see that? You know, it could be that type of bomb, that reality check, that, that, um, that, um, oh my God, did I waste that time doing stupid stuff in a sense of that? That's what I'm hearing spirits say. But anyway, so again, it could be different for each and every one of you. Um, 
affect each and every one of you differently so everybody's situation is going to be different just depends on you know how we are all being repaid how we're all being distributed karma should i say all karma isn't bad karma so some of us some people have good karma should i say because they've done the things that god or spirit have required them to do and then there are others who i mean well of, of course we're all learning soul lessons but you know there's some people who like i said they will be receiving you know good karma and then you have those who will be receiving you know karma on the other hand for is just like okay maybe at the time you didn't do something right maybe god might have said okay i need you to change your attitude or just your attitude you know for this moment and maybe you didn't adjust your attitude because this is just an example that I'm hearing spirit say right now. Thank you, spirit. Um, like maybe you didn't adjust your attitude at that moment. And then it's like all of a sudden it's like you get this reality check because God asked you, okay, I need you to humble yourself right now. And you chose to be in your ego, but instead it's almost like, you know, when you chose the route of being an ego rather than humbling yourself, it's almost like that's the karma that possibly, you know, may come back to you or whatever the case may be. So anyway, I don't want to get into all that, but I just felt like uh, spirit was just bringing that to my attention. So, yeah, this could be a situation of somebody really getting into an actual fight fight. Or this could be a situation because I didn't see anybody in the dream. I just knew that I was like being punched on the side of my face. So that was just letting me know somebody's going to either experience that or or somebody's just going to get that reality check that's going to wake them up to the truth of the matter of things. It's almost going to, thank you, Spirit. It's almost like it's going to be a shock. Something's going to be a shock that's going to wake you up. Like, I'm, I'm like here, like, wake you the fuck up, in a sense. Um, Spirit got a sense of humor sometimes, too. So anyway, with that being said, um, yeah, so take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for everybody anyway so the third dream came in a form of the same the same type of energy and this one came in a form as if we was like in this room we kind of felt like maybe possibly uh i didn't get the feeling i couldn't see the whole building itself but basically it was like being in a imagine being in a, a office building and you're in the lunch break room that's kind of what it felt like being in a lunch break room so it was kind of like i um had came okay it was like lunch break so everybody was just kind of sitting around and all of a sudden i didn't hear any bell or any alarms go off but it, people just knew that it was lunch time so with that being said um it's like we all kind of got up at the same time we uh, it's like we all knew that it was lunch time at the same time because we all got up at the same time and it just so happened that it made it seem like as if i walked over to the microwave to use the microwave first and i put my stuff in there and heated it up so there was a lady standing next to me and she was kind of fondling with her stuff i guess maybe prepping her stuff or you know her being able to put it into the microwave next so it was kind of like we were all around this table where the it was either a table or like a counter where the microwave was sitting at but then there was like i was here a lady was here and then somebody there was other people along the sides like they were on this counter or table you know prepping their lunches or getting their food and stuff to eat so anyway, so with that being said, it's like I put my food in the microwave and then I stepped away from the microwave to go do something. I don't know if it was like to get a napkin or something like that, or I stepped away from it to go get a napkin. So when I came back, the lady who was standing next to me, she kind of like had like an attitude and I'm looking at her like, okay, what's her problem? You know, I was fine. I didn't have an attitude, but I'm just looking at like, what's her problem? She like, she see my stuff is in the microwave. So anyway, with that being said, it was kind of almost like, that gave me the energy that she was almost like on edge too about something what it was i don't exactly know because i wasn't being shown that but anyway so but i knew that she was on edge about something but i noticed that like i said before it's a lot of eager type energy and and um that's something to be mindful of something to be mindful of and 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 what i'm hearing spirit say thank you spirit what i'm hearing spirit say is that you know In other words, try not to egg people on in a sense because everybody is dealing with something different. Everybody is dealing with something different. So you don't know what other people are dealing with. I'm not saying that you should allow somebody to just sit there and, you know, disrespect you or whatever the case may be or cross boundaries, should I say. But, you know, 
it's a matter of creating boundaries, but stand up for yourself. But again, delivered in a way of how you will want people to speak to you in the process. Um, but showing people grace and mercy at the same time. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. It's, it's that balancing act. Thank you, spirit. It's, it's, it's a balancing act. Anyway, so real quick, I had to look up, you know, um, we all know what ear was meaning because I wasn't really sure about the whole punch thing. I mean, the punch could come in a form of somebody actually getting punch or I didn't know if it had a, a more significant meaning behind it, symbolism behind it, and then the lunchtime itself. So I did, um, give me a second. So the lunchtime, it was just basically saying... To dream of eating lunch symbolizes what you are thinking or feeling as you're entering in the middle stage of a project or your life lessons. How you sustain yourself, in other words. So, you know, I guess people are going to be shaken up. Um, I don't know. Uh, what I'm hearing Spirit say is whatever it is that you've been holding on to so tightly that you've been kind of worshiping, idolizing. It's almost like that foundation is going to crumble in a sense. So whatever it is that you've been holding on to and been putting first rather than God's soul spirit, that whatever it is that you've been putting first has been like your God in a sense. I'm sorry. Why did I say it like that? It has <laughs> like it has been your God in a sense. And it's almost like you worship that. You worship whatever it was that you was putting first before God saw spirits. It's almost like it's going to be a revelation, whatever that may be for each and every one of us. Anyway, so the microwave itself, we are, we already know that microwave means getting something quick, you know, heating up, doing something quick or whatever the case may be. But I just had to just kind of symbol. I wanted to just kind of find out if there was a deeper meaning behind the microwave because obviously it stood out. God doesn't just put certain things in a dream and then I'm supposed to bypass it because it has some symbolism behind it. But anyway, so the microwave is to dream of a microwave represents feelings of accepting. Hold on, let me make this bigger. To dream of a microwave represents feelings of accepting yourself, waiting for something to be ready for you at a set time, set times or appointments to quickly deal with a problem. It makes sense. You know, you set the time on the microwave. Thank you, Spirit. Feeling that if you wait for a specific time, that a problem will go away on its own. Choosing a set time to end situations or relationships and waiting for it. So, you know, that could be applying to some of you that God, Soul, Spirit has been asking you guys to let go of certain people in your life. Um, because it says choosing a set time to end situations or relationships and waiting for it. And what I'm hearing now is, uh, it's like some of you guys may, it's almost like some of you guys are waiting to end some of these relationships because you kind of second guessing the information that you're getting. Like you, you think that the information that you're receiving is not correct. Like, why would you allow me to release people in a sense is what I'm kind of hearing. But some of you are questioning the fact of why you're being asked to let go of people. Anyway, quick action. This is what it says, quick action. You feel that something is urgent or, or don't want to wait. Easiest option to quickly deal with a problem, choosing to not talk to a romantic par partner for a certain amount. Let me reread that again. Choosing to not talk to a romantic partner for a certain amount as an easy way to end the relationship. So that's the positive side of the whole microwave situation. I'm going to just read the negative side because even though I was using a microwave and I didn't have an issue, but the lady next to me, I think she wanted to use the microwave. So I'm going to just read this negative side and you guys take it how it resonates. If the first one um, resonates with you, then take that. If the second one resonates with you, then take that. But this is the negative side. Negatively dreaming about a microwave represents feeling feeling stupid for not completely waiting for a set time for something to occur. Using waiting to cut people off or end relationships. Using waiting or set times as an antisocial tool. Laziness that would rather wait for something to occur 
than be personal with an issue, impersonal or empty waiting on a schedule for a desired outcome. So I guess that kind of makes sense because I think she kind of wanted to, it's, it's almost like with the microwave, when I came back, it was kind of almost like, I got the feeling like she wanted to take my stuff out the microwave. Um, I guess because the microwave had kind of stopped before I got back, but again, I didn't go very far. So she was just standing there waiting. So it was almost like her being a little bit impatient. You know how people, you go to the laundromat. I've been guilty of this. When I did used to have to wash at the laundromat years ago when I was younger. But with that being said, how you go to a laundromat and you know, you're trying to get in, you're trying to get out. And then all of a sudden it's just like people just holding up the machine. So you take that stuff out and you go put it in the dryer. It's kind of like that in a sense. So yeah, take that how it resonates. So anyway, um, like I said, be mindful, look, listen, pay attention, um, be aware of your surroundings because like I said, I don't know if this is an actual situation of a bomb happening or just bombs going off in people's lives. In other words, like, you know, shaking their foundations is what I'm hearing spirits say. So anyway, those are all the messages. Mercury retrograde. Those are all the messages that I have. So anyway, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, almost made me, almost forgot. Thank you, Spirit. You will be on time. So the message that I heard uh, that came through was Whitney Houston's song this morning. And the song was, I found out what I've been missing. So I'm going to put that song down either in the comment or the description box below, just in case you guys forget. But go listen to that song and apply it in your life in whatever shape or form how it resonates because that was the song that came on and it was meant for me to deliver it to you guys so i'm delivering it to you guys so anyway you finding out something whatever that may be however that shakes your world your foundation i don't know but anyway i wish you all much love much light until the next prophetic message i say peace and blessings bye